Hello, welcome to letter soup. This week we're on the letter C and we're gonna do it in the blocky graffiti style. I'll start by sketching the wireframe of the C. And as you can see, the center of the C is tilted to the left. This is the guide that you can draw your letter on top. Here I will sketch how I would imagine this letter as a block. And I'm gonna show you here on the side how I would draw an A in the same style. Again, starting with a simple A shape and using that as a wireframe to make blocks around it. If you want your letter to be a little more dynamic, don't do these blocks straight, don't do rectangles, but do blocky shapes that one end is bigger than the other one. I will show you here the same example for a B, again going around the wireframe and making it blocky. So now back to our main letter, I'm gonna add some details. One of them will be bullet holes that I draw using a circle and around that circle as you can see I make these U shapes that I will shape later. I will also add some cracks, trying to make it like it's stone. And the really good tip is every time you have three lines coming together, try to make a V shape and make it rounded like I will show you here. Now that we got our basics down, I'm going to draw the letter for the final result. I'm just gonna follow all the principles I told you before. For the drop shadow, just choose an angle that will aesthetically look nice. And try to imagine the letter as a cube, like I'm showing you here. But since this is not a cube, I'm going to make here on the side the drop shadow for a circle and normally the tendency is to make really sharp corners on the drop shadow so I give these corners the same curve as the circle in that area. So now let's apply this to our letter. Try not to apply many details otherwise the drawing will look super confusing and this is supposed to be simple and direct, easy to read. I will now go over the sketch with the black poshka. I will also use this uniball pen, making the lines around the letter thicker and inside the letter thinner. I'll paint the whole drop shadow black. Now with the blending stump, you can shade the cracks on the side of the drop shadow to give the letter some volume. Now around the letter I'll do an interrupted outer line with the micron pen so the main focus will still be the letter and not the line around it. And this is it for one more letter Sue. Any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. I will see you next week with the next letter.